back on Action Comics. Back on Action Comics, yes. And you are reunited with Lee Weeks. Yes, indeed. Can we talk about why Lee Weeks is not like a household name? <laughs> Lee should be a household name because he is so incredibly talented. And the, the wonderful thing about working with Lee on this story is that the focus is the Kent family. And it takes place a couple of years ago when, you know, John is still, say, uh, like your typical nine or 10 year old kid who just happens to have some emerging superpowers. But at, at the same time, I think Lee is the perfect artist for this because his sensitivity to John as a kid and both Clark and Lois's parents and them as a family unit is wonderful. And he's just a brilliant artist anyway. So it's always great to work with Lee. What I like about this concept, and, and this is officially, are you officially calling this Lois and Clark 2? Is, is that what this is called? What, how, how is this working? I hate to say this. I'm not sure what we're calling it. <laughs> I, I, they said something to that effect in there, and it was the first time I heard that. Okay. Um, what we have is, if we go back to uh, pre-Rebirth, when Lee and I did the Superman, Lois, and Clark miniseries, the idea was to show how they lived as a family unit with John, kind of in secret. Because they, they, Clark always understands the idea of being a target and everything. And so we're going back to some of those same sensibilities. Life on the farm. Um, how was Clark doing things when he wasn't quite known as being uh, Superman in the red and blue costume, which is a hint about the black costume, of course. But it, it's that fun time of them just living as a family and really coming together, which readers really loved. And we're going to touch on that again, spinning off out of the uh, 30th anniversary Death of Superman special. Well, that's a perfect way to get into this because yes. what, I, what I love about this, this Action Comics backup is that it puts that story in the, in the Death of Superman special in like a completely new light now because we have a new villain in Doombreaker. Mm -hmm. I like the idea that like that original Lois and Clark miniseries kind of to that Death of Superman special and now into what you're doing in action. It's just like a nice kind of progression for, you know, for readers. But obviously Doombreaker wasn't going to be a one and done. He's too cool. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> the idea is that how do you make that work in terms of something that the family would do? What pulls us into the story? And we drop a couple of hints of that in the 30th anniversary special. So people might be able to intuit where this is going to go. But, you know, John is going to be somewhat at the center of events at that point. And, and what does he do? How does he respond as this 10-year-old kid who has just taken in all this information where he found out that his father had died years earlier, came back to life, you know, and he found out about Doomsday and now Doombreaker, seeing that in the streets of Metropolis, what pulls all of that together and gets us going off on the next story. And I think when we did the death of Superman way back when, uh, part of what we did was we used that as an effective launch platform for more story material. And we're just happening to do that again now. So it's I think it's great fun. Obviously, death of Superman is like kind of the ultimate touchstone of that era of Superman for a lot of people. But having spoken to Philip Kennedy Johnson today and Joshua Williamson today, and, you know, seeing what has been happening in action comics over the last year, other elements of that era of Superman are suddenly becoming much more important to broader Superman mythology again, mm -hmm. you know, in ways that they haven't in a long time. So I'm just curious, like how that feels for you um, you know, and if there's, if there's anything in particular that you want to kind of keep, keep bringing to this now, uh, you know, first of all, I'm, it's always gratifying to see that people use your work as whether it's inspiration or a frame of reference, whatever it might be. It, it is fun to see. I think it's also good for Superman and the Superman franchise because that stuff was really successful. And, um, you know, not just the death of Superman, but even the connectivity we had among the books, the continuity that we built, uh, which doesn't mean as a writer you have to be a slave to that, but people responded very well to it. And, and they did for a reason, and I'd like to think it was because it was good, strong material that fit Superman very, very well. And what we can do now is use some of that to keep that going because I think part of the trick of doing Superman well is to have the proper sensitivity toward the character and the supporting cast because he's so unique. I mean, Superman's world is unique. He's unique as a character. 
And if everyone understands what those sensibilities are, that results in good story. Can I just tell you how happy I was to see Mr. Z get a name drop in the 30th <laughs> anniversary special? <laughs> I, you know, it, it, it was always fun to go back and do that stuff. And I think there again, it is... It is part of what people remember well. And I think part of the trick is to walk this fine line a little bit that is that observant somewhat to the past while also trying to build into the present. And by that, I mean, we just, whether it's, you're referring to Bruce Wayne's origin as Batman when we see the, the Waynes die on the streets of Gotham City, whether it's, you know, Clark's rocket ship landing, comics are still built on story work that came before. And we try and keep that up and stay consistent with that while also adding new material to freshen it up. Last thing, what do you think people need to know about Doombreaker? He is both related to, but different from Doomsday. And there's a very conscious effort that went into trying to create something different here um, that at the same time, you know, can reference back to what was obviously a very popular Superman villain. Great. Well, thank you so much. My pleasure. 